Happy lovers, it's your girl Clement Soin from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Stay open to receiving them. Mm, mm, mm. Mis amores, it's your girl Clement Soin. I record energy and people to fill. Oh, and this is our horoscope. We're going to find out what our spirit guides, our angels, and our ancestors want us to know right now, okay? So y'all know, all right, we are a few days away from the full moon in Aries collective candle Reiki, okay? So the focus for the Aries full moon is going to be fiery wall of protection activation, okay? We're going to be wrapping ourselves in deep Reiki protection, okay, to reject stress to protect us from self-sabotage, to cleanse and clear our chakras, to also protect us from negativity, self-sabotage, any um like negative thoughts, fear, anything like that. If you've been feeling like you under psychic attack, okay? If you've been feeling like entities coming for you, if you've been fighting demons, this is the Reiki for you, okay? Secure your spot, register RSVP for Reiki on my website, bigemperorsenergyllc.com slash Reiki. Okay, also the link is in my bio as well. I'm really excited to hold space for you all. It includes a YouTube live. The live is going to be private. It's going to be emailed to you once you reserve your spot. And um, yeah, if you don't watch the live, you will still receive the energy. You will still receive the Reiki energy healing. Okay, you don't have to watch the live. It's just so we can connect. We have the sound bath and a group reading. Okay, so I'm really excited for that. That is on Tuesday, October 19th. It's happening the day before the full moon. The moon is exact on October 20th at 10.57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm doing this Reiki October 19th. If you're a Reiki regular, you know I always do it the day of. The day of. But this one is the day before. Okay, so I'm letting y'all know it's the day before, okay? Um, so let's get into this reading, okay? Because I'm spending my full moon in Aries with my Aries, okay? My son is an Aries, and we have a trip planned. Um, my son has a lot of planets in Aries. He's not just an Aries, he's a super Aries, okay, baby? Okay? Okay, baby, baby. He's an Aries stellium. So let's get into it, beloveds. Let's get into it. Let's see what's popping, what we need to know right now. Our spirit guides, our angels, our ancestors. I'm inviting this, them in to see what do we need to know every single body watching this reading, uh, watching live or watching the replay. Okay, please comment if you're watching. Um, say hola, comment be emojis, okay? Um, also, the beloved honey oils from the last new moon shipping this week. So when you receive it, please. Shout it out on your stories tag. Yo, girl, I want to see your uh, packages. Okay, I really love to see it. Woo! Okay, so listen, I don't know, but we need to get personal real quick. We need to get personal real quick, okay? Um, Because are you feeling this? Are you feeling this? Comment or be emoji if you're feeling the intensity in the air. If this... Like, you know what it was? Last week, we had a lot of energies. We have a lot of these, like, squares and everything. We're having a lot of these trines. We're having a lot of these planets. These outer planets going direct. Mercury going to be going direct. Like, everything, 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 everything. So, I've been feeling like I've had, um, I've had a lot of things to do, okay? I've been feeling the Ten of Wands. I've been feeling, like, it's just too much. Okay, it's just too much. Have y'all been feeling that too? Has everything been coming to a head for you? Okay, um, I feel like because things were on pause for so long with the planets being retrograde, now it's like the energy is picking up the momentum, but we haven't reached the finish line. We haven't watched the, we haven't got to the finish line yet. So it could be feeling very e e emotional. When I feel like we need to spend more time in that hermit mode, con like conserving our energy, being more alone, being more um, concerned about our mental, spiritual health and wellness over our, you know, over things that are draining us. Also putting things really, really big into perspective, okay? Really putting things into perspective. Okay? 
right now we got the moon <laughs> the moon in aquarius so it could be very uh <sighs> The moon is in Aquarius on top of Saturn. Saturn is the taskmaster. Saturn have us in our responsibility. Saturn will have us in our bag, but also being like, pero por qué? Why is all of this happening to me? Okay? Why is all of this happening to me? I'm seeing that a lot of orange energy, so we're needing to kind of get creative. Tap in with our sacral. Tap in with our divine feminine. Okay? Whatever is meant for you, gonna come in find you okay whatever is meant for you gonna come and find you so don't stress your blessings okay don't be stressing them blessings okay we got the knight of pentacles that just flip, flip out the deck which i think is very interesting because knights are about movement they're about you know the journey about getting to the next step and everything but of all the knights the knight of pentacles is the one that's not moving okay his horse isn't moving why because he's planning he's scheming He's checking everything on the list. He's going over it twice. He's trying to work out any sort of misunderstandings. He is also really here counting his coins, reserving his energy, okay, and getting and, and staying grounded. That means that, you know, we could have a lot of hopes and wishes and activity in our mind and things that what do we want so, so much, we want so badly. But sometimes we got a knight of pentacles in. We got to slow down. We got to scheme. We got to plan. We got to say, yes, I'm making moves. I'm going to go there, but I'm going there on divine time. I'm not rushing my process. No one's going to make me budge. Knight of pentacles, you really want to be planning and planning. Because then something that ain't, ain't, ain't plan A, plan B, plan C, because then once something is going to come, okay, something's going to come, it feels like, and kind of shake it up a little bit. So that's why you want to have your plan B, your plan C, and don't let nobody see you sweat. Don't let nobody see you sweat. I'm hearing you going to learn today. You going to learn today, okay? Woo, child. Some of y'all gonna teach somebody that who you who you are, okay? That you are not to be played with, that you are not to be messed with, that you've calculated, that you've that you smart, that you got a bag. Cause we have the Knight of Pentacles. That's all about the money, honey, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, baby. Okay, you got the bag, but you don't just uh spe spend your energy anywhere. You don't just spend your money anywhere with anyone. Anything that you do is calculated. We got the page of cups coming up as our challenge. That's our, our creativity is being challenged right now. How can you be more creative? How can you think outside the box? Okay. How can you have a little bit more fun? Not taking everything so mother seriously. Okay. Not taking everything so seriously. We got three of cups as our outcome, as our invitation. This is a celebration, baby. Okay. Some of you guys here could be going to a party or getting together with friends as soon. Okay. Uh, celebrating soon. Okay. As well. Three of, uh, I see this is about teamwork, 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 not getting emotional in your teamwork, not getting emotional in your teamwork. We got the nine of wands as your energy. Some people here are very tired, okay? You've been working a lot. You could be very, very tired. And we have the tower card coming up here as well as a challenge. So it's like, I see that we ducking. We ducking and dodging. We ducking and dodging, okay? Um, let's see what that tower card is like more as our challenge could be more unexpected changes coming up things that maybe we didn't plan for that's why we need b c d plans okay i see people getting like uh, like maybe this could be last minute news that could be very upsetting okay some of you guys here you want to move forward with something but there's like a stop there's a halt there's a reason why you're needing to kind of um gather your energy here okay and the nine of wands I feel like with the tower being the water tower, this is a very internal and any any shakeups, right? Anything that could be um, interpreted as why me, I feel like is spirit trying to protect you, especially with the sign of wands, everything you've already built, everything you've already built, okay, with this energy. But some people are tired and they're second guessing, okay? They're tired and they're second guessing, some of you guys too could be dealing with someone who's very immature. 
I see someone celebrating a ch like like a child's birthday as well um i see someone getting very like being a little bit immature being a little bit catty so maybe someone you didn't expect to be as well Ooh, i need to get my nails filled like it hurt knight of cups okay knight of cups here the knight of cups you can see the the, the horse is actually ready to take one step but it moves it moves still a little bit slower we have the page of cups and the knight of cups so we have something going to the next level um with this energy we could be also feeling emotional roller coaster emotional roller coaster the hermit what is we're feeling that hermit energy this is virgo energy okay the hermit feeling alone some of you feeling alone even when you're with people even when you're, when you're with the three of cups you are feeling alone okay like people just don't see things in the way that you see them people could also be wanting to fight with you okay trying to do something behind your back we got the seven of Swords, and I see this as sometimes a manipulator card. Now, this card has twofold. Some of times, this is us self sabotaging, us knowing that we have enough, that we have everything that we could ever need, but still wanting to backtrack, still wanting to backpedal, still wanting to settle. This could also be somebody else in your life, okay? When this real comes, trying, someone trying to manipulate you, someone who wants to fight with you, five of wands, okay? Maybe they think it's play fighting, okay? But you, <laughs> you might be like, this ain't, no, this ain't no play. I'm not here to play today, okay? Some of you guys here, if it's internal, you're going back and forth with yourself, okay? You're going back and forth with yourself, we got the queen of swords in the reverse and the four of swords in the reverse. Like what I'm seeing with this is like, don't second guess your better judgment. If, if it's not this, then it's something better. Don't, don't second guess your better judgment. If it's not this, then something better. So always when you're saying your prayers and you're setting your intentions, God divine has another plan sometimes. So you have to say, if not this Lord, if not this spirit, then something better, something better. I have chills. Sometimes we think here that we have all the answers because we had two nines here. So we've already had a long journey. We've already put in a lot of work. But now with the tower card, needing to kind of reevaluate, needing to see what's kind of falling away. What is the universe kind of taking out of my path? What is the universe taking out of my path? Why? How am I supposed to move forward with this? How can I plan? Okay. How can I stop? Maybe giving ener like energy and attention to people who don't deserve it, okay? Who, who don't want the best for me. Who maybe want to manipulate me, okay? What are you going to do about that? We have this Ace of Wands here. And I think that's interesting because we had the Ace of Wands and we had the Nine of Wands, okay? So you get that one more wand. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the completion. We have the end of the cycle. But how do we get there? You have to have a new fresh idea, a new fresh lease on life. Ace of Wands, you have to be ready as well to pick up your wands, okay? To pick up your wands and beat somebody down, <laughs> with the five of wands and they're all like with their wands and play fighting and trying to hit them bring your wand bring your wand to the battle bring your creativity bring your intelligence you know bring spirit bring divine bring your protection we have the four of swords i feel like someone is sleeping someone is sleeping on you and you about to wake them up today Queen of Swords in the reverse because we also somebody trying to gaslight you. Someone trying to tell you it is it is and what exactly what it is. With the Queen of Swords in the reverse, we're really needing to amp up our boundaries, amp up our protection, okay? And keep your heart out of it. Sometimes with this energy here, you're needing to rely on logic more than just, oh, what, what I want for my heart. Which, what glitters sometimes is not gold. Sometimes it's, you know, it's fool's gold. It's pyrite, okay? Sometimes it's just, it's just glitter. It's just glitter. It's not gold, okay? That doesn't mean that you not golden. That doesn't mean you not golden. I feel like with the tower card, something can be removed, okay? Because it's going to get replaced with something better. 
Do not settle, okay? And with this Ace of Wands and this Knight of Cups and this Three of Cups, I feel like someone's going to be coming through with something sweet at the last minute, okay? This is that almost like this divine intervention. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. Some of you guys here are dealing with legal issues. Some of you guys here could be wanting to go back to school, consult an expert, or learn something more. Sometimes you got to get an expert's opinion, okay? If you don't know everything, talk to someone who does, you know, make those networks, make the connections, talk to somebody who knows somebody. It's all about who you know. Mm. King of Swords in our background is like, you see clearly. You got to open up your throat chakra, though. You got to open up your throat chakra, though, okay? You got to be the one here setting the tone with that night energy about where you're going. Nights are about movement. We have two nights, so we're going to be getting a lot of messages here, especially because we are at the end of the Mercury retrograde. This is when I feel like things kind of come to a climax. Now, in my experience, sometimes the shadow period could be more intense than the actual retrograde. And I feel like this retrograde... Um, it really didn't come to play. It came for all of our edges. It snatched us. And so we're going to see why within the next two weeks. We're going to see some things that maybe we really set our heart and tension and everything on. But there's a reason why it's not working out. There's a reason why we keep getting that no and that rejection. We have despair and death. Some people are... They hate change, okay? I see you hate change. You know, a lot of times it's earth signs, hate change, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But whatever sign you are, you could have a lot of like despising. You don't want to change. And another thing with despair, your thoughts could be causing you a lot of despair. People in your life trying to put thoughts in your heads, but maybe not have your best inch at heart could be causing you despair. Some of you guys might just feel like you want to end it all. You want to uh, 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 leave. You know, you don't want to deal with some situations. You want to be very avoidant with this despair and death. Some of you guys have to kill your despair like your despair you have to end your depression by not claiming that okay you have to end this this fight by not not fighting with a sword but fighting with your words fighting with your energy fighting with your wit tu me entiendes you understand what i'm trying to tell you Thank you for the super chats. I really appreciate speaking abundant tempo over your life. We have 14 people who, who sent up. Thank you so much. But this is wild. We have the death card, though. So this is talking about major changes. Some of you guys, if you have been feeling that despair, you have been feeling hopeless, you have been feeling like just run down, beat down by life, that could be changing. There could be a death in that. That could be transforming. Okay, because you're I see I'm hearing like mental health tending more to your mental spiritual health Some of you guys the physical health if you've been like like coughing a lot I'm seeing or you've been having a lot of phlegm mucus and stuff like that as well I'm sweating like I'm sweating right now I'm hot We have the death card a lot of us here need to talk to our dead our ancestors um, muertos, okay, um, in prayer, okay, um, they're protecting you, they're, they could be protecting you by kind of throwing things your way, and you're kind of like, why is this happening to me, so, because they want you to see how powerful you are, they want you to see how smart you are, we have, all these words start with F, okay you know i have a four-year-old son he's learning about f right now in school it's the funniest thing because they went from a to f and every day i'm like what did you learn today and he's like not b <laughs> i did not learn b because <laughs> they went from a to f okay so we have flow we have faith and we have frustration what the what the f to the third power what the f to the third power <laughs> We have to flow with faith that even when we're getting frustrated, there could be a breakthrough happening for us. We could be breaking down to have a breakthrough, okay? That even when we're feeling frustrated, maybe that's rejection as protection, okay? That maybe even though we're feeling frustrated, it's not a sign to stop. But it's a sign to reevaluate. It's a sign to see. It's a sign to pray that what is for me will never pass me and that you're surrendering to the flow and that you have faith in God, in spirit, in the divine, in your ancestors, in your divine plan, in your higher self, in everything, okay? Faith, faith, faith. 
Have faith too that when you're being frustrated that these are signs, might I say red flags, okay, that something isn't for you. That you're needing to flow. That don't get so frustrated because mira mami is not for you. Surrender frustration. Yo, a lot of us are frustrated. Surrender that, okay? And surrender to trust. Same thing as faith. The same. It's the same thing, okay? Surrender frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or a block is to take a breath, send yourself, regroup so you can approach the situation more calmly, okay? Starting to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and have confidence that you have chosen the right path. Woo! That is powerful, okay? That is very, very powerful. That's basically everything that we had just said. Okay, you could trust yourself. You could trust your logic. You could trust your plan. And we need to put down all the expectations that people have been putting on us, okay? Grudges, worries, anger, stress. Stop. What are you carrying there? Toxic life. That's what. Get your ish together. Sometimes it takes time to get your life together. It might hurt. Some of it you can drop instantly right now. Go on. Make a choice. Spirit wants you to drop the stress, other people's expectations, worries, and anger, frustration that's not serving you because it's weighing on your back. We have a turtle here. Yes, sometimes things move slowly because it's your protection. Because you have to wait for divine time. Some of you guys could be seeing turtles today. Or whenever you receive this message. And guess what turtles have? A shell for protection. Protect yourself. Protect your mind. Protect yourself from these negative thoughts. Protect yourself from these frustrations. Protect yourself by people who want to take away your peace. How do we have Archangel Hope and Archangel Mallory? Tell me why last time I went live, I have faith and hope. Then the last time I had Archangel Faith and now I have Archangel Hope. And I had Mallory last time too. This is not a game. This is not a game, okay? This says look for a cosmic gift. You deserve it. Have hope. Okay, and Archangel Mallory, remember who you are. Take action when you're ready. Spirit says I have to get off live now. Spirit says I have to get off live. There's no more to say. Um, I don't know because sometimes I get a call when I'm live and then it ruins my live. So thank you so much for all your badges. I really appreciate all the 25 supporters. Um, you can also tip it my cash app, buy me a coffee. I appreciate the energy exchange. Speaking abundance tenfold over your life. Go to my website, re register for Reiki happening Tuesday, October 19th, the day before the full moon. Okay. Um, and it's going to be popping. We're doing a fiery wall of protection activation. I cannot wait to hold space for you all. I'm sending you guys so much love and blessings. Thank you so much for pouring into me. And I'm speaking peace, prosperity over all of your lives. May you find some clarity today and feel the strength in your spirit. Ashe, bye.